Climate Prediction Center released their latest El Nino advisory today, giving us a better look at how much snow and rain we will see this winter. And according to their forecast, there is more than a 55% chance of stronger El Nino events uh, continuing through March and a 35% possibility of this one being among the most intense on record. Our Casey Montoya has more on what that means for us here in Southern California. After a four year break, El Nino is back, leaving many to wonder what it means for our upcoming winter. So what is El Nino? It's the temporary warming of the eastern Pacific Ocean near the equator. When the water temperature rises half a degree Celsius above normal over a three month period, it's considered to be an El Nino pattern. When the water rises 1.5 degrees Celsius above normal, it's considered a strong El Nino. It does appear as though this event is going to come pretty close to that, if not exceed it. And if it does, it'll be up in the uh, rare category along the lines of the El Nino of 2015, 2016 and the El Nino of 1998. In December of 1997, seven inches of rain fell in parts of Orange County in one day. February of 1998 brought more than 13 inches of rain to downtown Los Angeles, causing major damage. During strong El Nino winters, we typically see heavy rainfall in the southwestern U.S. and here in Southern California. And historically, we see more snowfall in the Sierra and Southern Rockies, but less snow in the Northeast. But before you book your winter travel trips to hit the slope, Remember, El Nino isn't a guarantee. Last winter's record snowfall in Southern California was during a La Nina, when odds were favoring a drier winter. I would put my money on, uh, on a relatively wet winter in Southern California, but we really can't rule out any possible outcome. So what El Nino really is doing is... Uh, tilting the odds. In fact, El Nino is just one piece of the winter forecast puzzle. But what ultimately ends up happening is usually a combination of both El Nino, some other tropical forcings that go on. Although the El Nino La Nina Southern Oscillation has a major impact on weather patterns worldwide, experts say it's a naturally occurring phenomenon and not caused by climate change. But they are related to climate change in the sense that we believe that we're more likely to see uh, more extreme El Nino and La Nina events more frequently in a warming climate. While climate scientists say it's likely we will have a wetter and warmer winter, it's still a game of wait and see. What could be different with this winter potentially is with potentially that warmer air coming in from that El Nino uh, area in the Pacific is we could have higher snow levels, 10,000 feet or higher at times. And so all that water, instead of being locked up at the high elevations in the form of snow, could be coming down at the same time we're seeing the heavier rain also at lower elevations. While the El Nino forecast isn't a guarantee, it's still a good time to prepare your property for what could be a very wet winter, whether that means fixing leaky roofs, cleaning gutters, and making sure you have good drainage around your property. I'm Casey Montoya. Back to you.